All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an environment. So there's a couple things. There is this ground here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that to make the water, okay? So what I wanna do before is I'm gonna to go to vegetation under landscapes, and you either have flat or rocky. Well, rocky is more interesting, so I'm gonna put rocky down. One of the things it's gonna do is it's gonna create a new, um, and you know, I'm gonna just shrink my house here. Turning around, you want to see that one, but so here's our rocky grassland. So I just created this whole scene, but you don't see it. So one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to materials right now, and I'm gonna turn this into water. So if I wanna have some nice lakes, oopsie, let's put this one down. And well, now my thing's in the middle of the water, so that's kind of bad. But what I'm going to do is select it, make sure it says starting ground, and I'm going to move it down to below landscape. Now, you could go very low and under. Now, I'm just going to leave a little bit of water here so you can see it, but I'm now going to click on this, which is the rocky land. So I'm no longer selecting the starting base, but I'm selecting the rocky land. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see these tools show up. So there's a paint tool and there's a sculpt tool. So what's cool about this, this is raise. So I, now the shift key also works. So if I press the shift key, it'll go down and I can go down all the way to where my water is. And if I feel that the water is too low, let's say I'm gonna go all the way to that and I'm making a little lake. And I already have a lake all the way over there. I'm going kind of really fast here just to not waste too much time in the video. And it's pretty much good enough. So again, if I go back to my starting base, I could lift the water up a little bit here. Oops. Uh, starting ground is what I meant. Sorry. So maybe I want to go like that. Okay. So you can drop this by going, clicking on here and on... When you, when you click on rocky grassland, the sculpt tool shows up and the paint tool shows up too. So, you know, you can, you know, make walkways or make it look like there's gravel on the side of the mountain here. You can also enlarge your brush with the, I think it's with the bracket tool, but maybe uh, if you can't, there's a diameter tool here and you can do that really big if you want to make it look like there's rock there. And you can also change the look of this uh, down here as you paint. But before we do that, we have a kind of a problem. Our house is floating in the air. So let's fix that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. I'm going to go click on Modern House. And you notice when you select a root, you get the widget. And then you can drop the house wherever. Now, sometimes you see there's a little bit. The house is not completely level because I used the rocky ground. So what I often do is I place it, I go and select my rocky grassland, I go and click the sculpt tool, and I go around the edge and I look carefully and I see that there's a little problem there. And what I'm gonna do is use the sculpt tool and I'm gonna shrink the diameter and make sure it's in the up position and I'm just going to fix this and, you know, go over it. Now, not too much. My intensity is a little too much there, so I can lower it. If I press the shift tool, I can go like that. Now, one tool that's really useful is once you get it at the right spot is this one. So I'll get it, this at the right spot just in one area. Go slowly. Oh, now press the shift just a little bit. So that's pretty good. Then I'm going to go here, and it's going to flatten it. Uh, it's flattening it too much. It did erode, flatten. It goes to where the flattest part is. So maybe now that, that that can work. Let's just try it again. Yeah, see now it's working. So what I what I'm doing is I'm basically making it look like my house is not floating around. So using WASD, and when that flatten tool is enabled. Oopsie. Pretty good. 
And you see here, because it's not perfectly level, I'm going to raise it a little bit more. And I'll lower this intensity because that's way too much. So if it goes too much, you just you can just click your mouse. Now I'm going to let you finish this. I'm going to go quickly here so that my house is not floating and pretty happy with that. It's not perfect, but now my house is not just in the middle of nowhere. Okay. So it looks pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to show you how to go get another item. So again, if you go to SketchUp and I was looking for a barn, so under models, I can just type barn and I found one that I liked and I already downloaded it. So what I'm going to do is upload it. So I want to show you that you can go get a lot of extra models and bring them in. You don't have to just have one model. So um, I'm going to click refresh because I've already imported this one. Did it, did it place it? Well, okay, maybe it's just easier if I delete it and re-import it. So I'm going to go like this, open, and my barn, click open, and collapse by material, click import, use C material, same thing as last time. It usually places it in the middle, which is where my house came in. So I'm going to have to, same thing as last time, close this, find the barn, close this, select it, and obviously the barn is not going to be in front of the house, it's going to be in the back. Okay, so I'm going to press the F key, which zooms me directly to the barn. And one of the things I'm going to notice is the barn's a little small. So I'm going to use the 8, 9 tool. And I'm, from the middle, I'm going to enlarge the barn a little bit. Okay, so um, I'm going to do the same thing as what I've already done here. I'm going to place this on the ground. And I might need to fix it, but I for those... Thanks for the tutorial. I'll let you figure that out yourselves. And it looks like it's pretty good. Uh, before I move on, this model, there's a little problem. His name is Chris. So I'm going to click here and hit the shift key and delete him. Now there's still a little bit of the character left. So anything with that character that was imported, I want it out. And you see, I see his shoes still. So Chris and his shoes are gone. So you want to get rid of all that. Same thing as before under materials. Maybe I want to put some concrete on the floor. Uh, maybe I have a nice rooftop here. Let's go to the roof covering. And I'm going to go with this one. And under here, under grunge, you can make it look a little grungy. You can also scale it up so I can see the details. I guess I, I can't see it really. There's not... I'd have to move in to see it on this one. But, you know, each one is different. Maybe if I go with this one, if I go scale, will I see it? Yeah, look at that. That looks really good. And then under normal map, normals are like the, yeah, it's already at 100%. But look, if I drop this, it'll look, it won't look 3D. So that's always good to know. You can even invert these. What would that do? So, you know, a lot of playing around. So I'm pretty happy with this. So, uh, and you can see here, I hadn't fixed the back of my house, but there's my house and barn. And then we're going to keep going in the next video. If you have any other questions, please let me know.